I think it's really dangerous to approach the medium of anime with genera generalizations or you've seen one show and you think all of the other shows are exactly the same. You know, I've I've had I've had friends in the past who were like, "Yeah, anime is trash. All anime is trash." Now, there are good, very good arguments to be made for that statement. Dubs are horrible to a lot of people. Uh, personally, I like dubs, um, though I do see how can, how they can be campy and cringeworthy. So if you will you know eliminate dubs what about subtitles a lot of people just can't handle reading subtitles and i can understand why you know when i first got into anime i absolutely hated reading subtitles i think at the time i also hated reading in general though that has obviously changed <laughs> with time <laughs> um because i i read books all the time now but at the time, you know, I really wasn't into it. I just couldn't focus on the animation or um, anything that was going on. I couldn't really get into the Japanese voice actors. But it was because I loved those stories so much when they were dubbed in English. You know, I was willing... Uh, uh, excuse me. To train myself and go... Well, uh, I guess I'll do this for a while and, and see how I get better at it. And eventually, over time, I got so fast at reading the lines and still being able to comprehend them, while also listening to the voice acting and actually watching the show and being able to give an analysis and actually comprehend everything that happened. You know, that took a bit of time, but it was because I cared about the medium. For someone who absolutely hates dubs and doesn't care about the medium or cares about getting into it, I doubt they'd actually put in that effort, and they shouldn't have to, you know? They definitely should not have to. So, the other, I think some of the other reasons are, you know, I'm not going to say it's all weird, but the certain weirder aspects of anime can turn people off even though they're completely normal shows and shows like Arakago no Shinju that could just be put into film and they'd be exactly the same you know that 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 idea that it's weird often scares people away and that's a generalization i don't i don't believe in that if there's something in it for everyone and, you know, the culture, the culture of it, I think, can turn a lot of people away. I don't believe in the idea that fans can ruin a work. I think a work should be experienced on the individual level, and one's thoughts, you know, um, should be should be only biased by oneself, and I, I don't I, I, even though I'm often influenced by other opinions, I don't come into anything with any preconceived notions. I come into it um, exactly just no hype, no expectations. And when people come into a medium with the idea that all the fans are terrible, which can be said about any fandom, to be honest, gaming is no different, um... But if you come in going, yeah, all all anime fans are terrible, so I get, you know, less positivity from this show. I don't believe in that, and I don't experience that when I watch shows, but it's completely reasonable to think that certain people would. Though, I think some people who throw out that argument are more looking at the tangible details rather than what actually made them hate a show. You know, Film Crit Hulk has this thing about about the tangible details that people that people hook on to rather than all of the other reasons the film made them mad. And um, sometimes I think that happens whenever people say, oh, it's the fans. But there are people who really do hate the fans with a burning passion. And I'm not saying that that isn't reasonable.
I'm sure there are other reasons. The fact that it's a cartoon can put people off. Some people don't like animation. Um, you know, that's reasonable. For some people, cartoons are weird, and that does not bother me. Um, though I find myself, personally, I enjoy cartoons more than actual film. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm sure there are other reasonable reasons not to like anime, but all the other reasons are just generalizations. You know, they see Dragon Ball Z, and then they think, well, I hate Dragon Ball Z, so all anime is going to be like this. Or they see Sword Art Online, God forbid, and they think, oh, well, all anime is going to be like this. Or, you know, they they watch, um, hmm, what else? K-On! or something, or some other Moe show. I think K-On!'s a great show. But if they see it, and they go... Well, you know, all anime has this weird cutesy style to it. I don't want that, you know. Um, they see one show or one or two shows because the people who are recommending things don't actually understand their tastes. You know, they get recommended just their favorite shows. And I think that's a problem in media in general, but I think that's another video. Um... So they get recommended these shows not based on who they are or their own taste, but, you know, what uh, the other people like. You know, they, they recommend them Lucky Star or Suzumiya Haruhi, um, even though that person is really into grindhouse horror or, um, you know, any, like, metal death kind of stuff. And if they were, you know recommended something like or now then here and there or whatever that show's called or anything really bloody and and edgy like uh Golgo 13 which isn't really a horror show but it's very edgy um if they were recommended something like that they'd probably have a much better time with it but these people they don't try to empathize with the person or their own taste they just give them their favorites. They watch that favorite, and then they go, no, this is absolutely not for me. All anime is trash, and then they just roll with that. Now, as someone who watches a lot of YouTube um, and hears, a l uh, hears and reads a lot of anime criticism and a lot of anime analysis and does a lot of research on all the different shows that come out, you start to realize that there is something for everyone. There is some genre. There is some directing technique to reel people in. There's, you know, uh, some some writer or whatever in anime, as long as you can get past the fact that it is in animation. Um, you know, there's there's something for everybody in there. And if you're willing to get past those very... <coughs> reasonable faults that fault the medium you know like having to read subtitles or dubs being bad or whatever if you're willing to get past that I have a feeling that there is something for everyone's taste you know if you like um, shows just about people's lives you know you got dramas you got romances you got all of that stuff um, if you like action shows, there's a ton of that. If you like sci-fi, there's a plethora, a plethora of sci-fi stuff out there. And it just depends on what your tastes are. And, um, you know, I'd gladly point you in the right direction. And I know there are other people who would gladly point you in the right direction, depending on your tastes, you know. Not some idiot who just gives you their favorite show because they believe absolutely everyone has their taste. That's just gay. So, yeah. That's... I, I don't think generalizations are a good thing for anime. I don't think they're a good thing for people trying to get into it or people, you know, trying to spread the word, so to speak. 
because you know this misinformation and this lack of knowledge on the medium um you know it, it gets kind of annoying like when people use the word the word weeaboo in a non comedic sense you know to to describe someone who likes the shows you know if somebody called me that and i have been called it many times you know it doesn't bother me i have broad shoulders but it is pretty gay that that term is being used uh so wrongly and i see that in the same way that i see these generalizations i think um using such broad terminology when talking about an entire medium with thousands and thousands of shows going to literally every demographic i think it's very counterproductive counterintuitive and frankly retarded to you know put out a statement like all anime is trash it's completely retarded um though that is just my opinion and i would be interested in hearing yours what do you think about when people generalize all of anime i'd really like to know it's late at night <laughs> i think the fact that it's it's so late at night is allowing me to put this vlog together in a more coherent sense rather than when it's you know whenever i'm wide awake i'm always just rambling on against every every other little thing that just seems to pop into my mind though luckily um I don't think I, I think I'm becoming at the point where I can actually talk more coherently so that's good I've just been doing it so many times and realizing my flaws I suppose anyway good night and see you all later